Hey everybody, so today I have this makeup look for you and it's quite a really dramatic spring look. So if you do want to see how I achieved this makeup look using some more new makeup products, then just keep on watching. I want to start off with my Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. So this is in the shade 110 Ivory because it is a spring look. I am wanting sort of a dewy finish to my skin. So I'm just going to be applying this foundation with this, this brush from eBay. So I'm just going to be applying quite a few drops onto my hands and then just patting all over my skin. And I absolutely love this foundation. It's just really, really lightweight and it's it's quite like a satin finish so it is really nice for spring it's not too heavy or anything like that and it does actually last quite long on my skin even though my skin is quite oily so yeah i just absolutely love this so i'm just going to be blending that in with this brush from Amy. gives that really nice natural looking finish so I'm just going to be setting that with my NYC smooth skin loose powder as I normally do so this is it here and I have got quite a lot of it still left which is really really good because I always tend to run out of powders quite quick and this powder has lasted so so long so I'm just going to be setting my face with this powder so happy to be back filming because I am actually I was actually sick and I couldn't really speak I have got a really bad cough at the moment but it was a lot worse than it is now so this is my voice now it is a bit better and I'm feeling a lot better so I am glad to be back to making videos again so yeah the voices are still a little bit croaky and I'm still quite coughing quite a lot but it is better than what it was. And then onto brows, I'm going to use my Freedom Brow Pomade in Chocolate and use my spoolie and my eyebrow brush for this. So I'm just going to be quickly just skipping over this part because it does take quite a long time to actually do my eyebrows. I'm going to use my Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Taupe and Sable which are these two here with my 224 blending brush from eBay and just placing these two colours in my crease as normal. or pewter which is like this really nice sort of taupey coppery shade. I'm just going to be using my finger for this and just place this all over my eyelids and it's a really nice stunning sort of taupey coppery purple colour which I haven't used before so I'm just going to be packing this all over the, my lid. deep purple and slate and mixing these two together with my elf professional blending brush which the writing has come off because it is sold so i'm going to be packing these two colors together tap off the excess and just running underneath my lower lash line Born highlight. I'm just going to be using the shade cream and white and mix these two together and just place this underneath my brow bone. And then moving on to 
to eyeliner. I'm going to be using my Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil and I'm just going to be running this in my waterline just to really brighten up my eyes. As always, I am going to be using a new one and this is the, the Balm Schwing Black Liquid Eyeliner which I've never used before so I'm just going to be trying this out. So the tip is quite large for the little bit at the bottom which I think is quite strange and it is quite a stiff tip but let's just see how this goes like the eyeliner it's quite a hard tip like it doesn't bend very much and it does dry like super super quickly so if you don't make a mistake it just dries so I have just like made like, like these inner parts here just to make quite a really feel and cat eye because I haven't really done like this type of look in a while so I just thought I would just try it out but to be honest, I wouldn't really recommend it, but it's an okay eyeliner, I suppose. So let's move on to um, eyeliner. So instead of that white, I think I'm just going to be using a uh, black just to blend in the inner corners because it is quite harsh. So I'm just like that and then I'm just going to be applying some mascara which is the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Dry Mascara which I'm absolutely in love with. The only problem I do have is that the formula is a bit wet so if you do have really really long lashes and you are, your eyelashes tend to smudge very easily on the tops of your eyes then I wouldn't really recommend it but since mine are quite short they don't really tend to smudge anywhere. my new socialize lashes which are in the shade which are in the style mink 2.0 which just look like this they're sort of like the um iconic or goddess or something they're quite similar to those so i'm just going to be popping at these on and then i'll be right back so that is the eyelashes on they are quite dramatic but i love them so i'm just going to be using my maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 15 i'm just going to be placing this underneath my eyes to brighten up my face just with a normal foundation brush. Moving on to contour and blush, I'm always in my new NARS Virtual Domination Cheek Palette which I'm so stoked 
to receive in the mail today. So I'm going to be using the shade Laguna, which is the bronzer in this palette. I'm going to be using the shade which is uh, Deep Throat which is this one The highlighter in this palette as well which is the Miss Liberty Highlighting Blush Powder My Matte Me Lips, well, Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. This is the shade of Birthday Suit. So this is just like a really matte cream. This is the finished makeup look. It is quite a dramatic and quite a different look, but I did just wing it. So yeah, if you do like this video then don't forget to leave it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already have a lovely day or night and i will see you in my next video bye guys